Here is how you can invest $1,000 in CS2 right now. I'm going to split this video into two parts. There's going to be an aggressive and a conservative investment style. So we pick whichever one suits your needs. And again, this is not financial advice. This is just what I would do in two scenarios if I had $1,000 to invest. But before we get into the video, guys, SkinSwap is today's sponsor. If you guys use the affiliate link in the video description, you will get a free item worth up to $200. No strings attached. They are a top of the line marketplace where you can buy, sell, and trade your CSGO skins, as well as your Rust skins. The rates over there are pretty compelling, and they're offering you guys a massive 40% bonus when you use the link in the description. And I know many of you guys are interested in finding ways to cash out your CSGO skins. This is the perfect site for you guys because they offer a variety of payout options, which I'm sure many of you guys will appreciate. But now back to the videos. So, Strategy number one, we're going to do conservative. We're going to tackle several different sectors of the CS2 market. We're going to take a look at some skins, some stickers, maybe some capsules, and some defensive plays like patches, or maybe even agents. So here we go. Let's get started. And I was a little bit torn about this. I really wanted to pick a Fire Serpent in the field-tested condition because of very good, strong factors, very cyclical growth in this name. It is very popular, and whenever we have bubbles and, you know, high demand in you know, investing in Counter-Strike, this skin tends to run up a lot. So I really like the way that it has gone down. So honestly, right now, yeah, taking a look at a Fire Serpent Field Tested. Next, I would probably take a look at some Tai Lu stickers, Year of the Dragon this year, and obviously they are from Stockholm. My one caveat is that if Copenhagen is borderless, this could tank a little bit. So if you don't want to put a lot of risk on this, maybe instead of Stockholm stickers, you go with Stockholm patches and go with the patch packs themselves from contenders that contain Tai for Tyloo stickers, I'd probably go with 5 to 10, and as for the patch packs, maybe go with just 10, and you'll be good to go. The only agent I consider buying is Number K or Bloody Daryl. If you have the money left over, great, but it is not something I'm prioritizing, especially this year since I'm expecting an operation. There should be some new demand for agents, and these are probably the best agents in the game. But now let's move on to our aggressive portfolio, and this is, again, $1,000, how would I be aggressive? Plain and simple, Paris and Stockholm. We are a month away from the introduction of the Copenhagen stickers, and if they are borderless, then our investments will completely nuke. However, if they are bordered, and they are different, and, you know, there is confirmation that borderless is not here to stay, then yeah, Paris and Stockholm Antwerp should see some meaningful appreciation. And which stickers am I personally eyeing? I'm eyeing Tyloo Stockholm, I'm eyeing Cloud9 Antwerp Hollows, I'm eyeing Mouse Glitters, some Mouse Hollows from Stockholm, or even Paris for that matter. Uh, I'm going for teams that have really good-looking stickers, and I'm going for the borderless ones, maybe some of their capsules. So for example, if you buy a lot of Cloud9 Antwerps, you go with the Antwerp Legends capsule. If you buy a lot of, you know, Stockholm uh, Mouse Hollows, you go after the Challenger Stockholm capsules. And you just put that $1,000 into either or, maybe a mix of all of them, and you have yourself a aggressive solid use of $1,000.